Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Cynthia Cruz from her book, The Glimmering Room, published by Four Way Books in 2012. This poem is entitled Self-Portrait. I did not want my body spackled in the world's black beads and broke diamonds. What the world wanted, I did not. Of the things it wanted, the body of Sunday morning, the warm wine and the blood, the dripping fox furs dragged through the black New York snow, the parked car, the pearls to the first pew, the funders, the trustees, the bloat, the red weight of the world, their faces. I wanted not that. I wanted St. Francis, the love of his animals, the wolf broken and bleeding. That was me. Uh, and that was Self-Portrait by Cynthia Cruz from The Glimmering Room, published in 2012 by Four Way Books. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of this video for more information about uh, Cynthia Cruz, more information about where to purchase a copy of this book from Four Way Books, and more information about other projects and series I'm currently working on. Uh, it is, as always, a great pleasure to share poetry with you and to celebrate the work of contemporary poets and poets who have been before us. And once in a while, dig into my own uh, my own writing. But <laughs> for lately, it seems um, I'm taking a lot of joy in just immersing myself in the words of others. Uh, I hope this is a joy to you as well, and that it inspires you in your own creative journey, allows you access uh, and a way to imagine things differently uh, through the language and the vision of others. Um, and in some small way, perhaps that kindles a fire with you in you to do the same. Uh, and whether your creative output ends up looking like poetry, or it turns out to be painting, or it turns out to be music, or some other expression of what you feel and what you encounter in the world, it's my hope that you continue to do that and that you are inspired to share as well with others. Um, if you want to support this series, uh, very easy to do so. Just hit the like button or thumbs up button on these videos. Uh, you can comment below and tell us what you like and what you'd like to see more of, or if you have any suggestions whatsoever about poets or poems to consider for this series. And uh, always, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, share videos or uh, links to these videos on social media. Uh, all these things, in some small way, help support this channel and encourage others or allow others uh, to see these videos and to encounter more poetry. And my hope really is that, is that we, uh, we expand our own uh, experience with poetry, our own understanding of poetry, that the circle of poetry that we've encountered keeps growing with each new poem that we encounter, and the possibilities of what language could do, what poetry can do, what any act of art might do, um, keep growing in our imagination as we do so. So until next time, stay safe and well, and stay warm. Uh, for those of you experiencing winter, and those of you who are not, well, good for you. <laughs> The rest of us still have to shovel snow and put on an extra layer of clothes. But that, too, is part of the beauty of this existence and a reminder that we are here and we're breathing and we're pushing on. So um, we'll see you again soon. Thank you, as always. This is Neil Aiken and the Hermit Poetry Series. And we'll be back again soon, probably in a couple of days, with another poem and another reading. Till then, um, good luck with all your creative pursuits, and we will be back again. Bye.